Fresh off a plane from his visit to Arctic Bay, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau met the Liberal Party faithful in a Calabit's Blackheart Cafe last night to announce their Nunavut candidate in October's federal election. That's why I'm so excited that your voice in Ottawa will be none other than this extraordinary, bright young leader, Megan Fitzgerald. The 31-year-old Inuk woman will carry the red banner in October. She spent a decade in Iqaluit, currently lives in Rankin Inlet, and is from Toloyawak originally. She covers all three of Nunavut's regions. It could be a two-way race between her and former Conservative Cabinet Minister Leona Aglukak, as no other party has declared a Nunavut candidate. Yet. A staple of any prime ministerial visit to Nunavut is always the re-announce bringing up old money in a new way to attract attention and receive credit. This trip was no exception. We've signed uh, the agreement with Nunavut uh, for $290 million over the next eight years uh, for housing uh, here in Nunavut. Nunavut's premier was on hand to re-accept the re funding. Housing is the first domino for Nunavut's social challenges. Overcrowded housing leads to poor health, a higher risk to be a victim of crime, and underachieving school kids. We're short right now as we speak, 3,100 units, and uh, nothing good comes out of an overcrowded house. All the negatives and ills that come from an overcrowded house can be uh, solved by having more houses. There were new things to be announced, but Trudeau left those to his Environment and Department of Fisheries ministers. Catherine McKenna and Jonathan Wilkinson were joined by Coast Guard members to reveal that another port will be added to Canada's shipbuilding strategy. One Quebec port company, Davy, has been lobbying hard for this exact result. We asked Wilkinson whether this announcement could be perceived as handing a huge contract to a Quebec company right before a federal election. So we are looking to add a third yard. There will be a, a process through which folks can apply. One of those may be Davy, there may be others. Um, and, uh, and we will go through a rigorous due diligence process. And With the retreat of the feds, Nunavut's time in the political spotlight is done for now. Hands were shaken and selfies were shot. The real referendum on liberal policies in Nunavut is in October, election night. Technically, the campaign hasn't started yet, but it sure looked like election politics over the last two days in Nunavut. Ken Fiscal, APTN National News, Halloween.